Today we're going to do a little detecting. Um, it's been really cold lately. I have a brand new permission and I went there and the ground is frozen solid. It's out in the field. Nearby I had this little spot where I'm at right now. And it's been hunted a lot, metal detected a lot, um, for the past 40 years that I know of. But I always seem to find at least one or two things. And because there's leaf cover, uh, the ground's not frozen. Uh, the leaves actually act like a blanket and they keep the ground warm. We're going to do a little digging here today. I got my first good signal. It's still in a hole. I haven't dug it out yet. It's up underneath this root, but it's squeaking really good right now. So I thought we'd go ahead and dig it together since it's our first one in quite a while. I suspect the fields will probably be thawed um, probably within a couple days. It's actually supposed to be pretty warm for a while. So we're going to dig this together. It's got a nice squeak and it's deep enough that I'm hoping it's probably uh, something decent, Civil War era. This was a camping area. And um, found a lot of Civil War stuff here, but st still a lot of shotgun shells. I actually did dig a couple of those, but this is the first one that sounds like it could be a Civil War item. There we go. I'm trying to get back behind it and push it out from under that rock or that uh, root. Is that it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, I thought it might be a piece of melted lead, flat piece of lead. All right, so I've got that all done. Down to the dirt. Go ahead and run the machine. We'll have to pick you up. All right, it's out of the holes right here. That's probably a bullet. What do you think? Not that. Hoping it's something Civil War. All right, it's in my hand. It's feeling a lot smaller than it did before. Ah, excellent. We have a Civil War era relic. This is what's called a Spencer um, cartridge. It's a rim-fired cartridge, and it went to a rifle that was used extensively during the Civil War. Now, it's mostly by the North, by the uh, Northern armies because uh, they had the technology to make them. I'm looking to see if there's any indentations on the rim to tell me if it was fired or dropped. That might be one there, but I can't really tell. But yeah, that's definitely 100% Civil War era. So we're on the board with a relic. I'm going to double check the hole, make sure the rest of the bullet is still not in there. So I can't, I can't, yeah, yeah, it's got a little indentation on it. So that means this was fired. So they were standing here firing that direction. And that direction is where I have, I know there's a firing range. So I think we can dig some fire bullets over there anyway. I didn't dig it out anyway. So, you know, some people might have over the years, but... He used to find tons of fire bullets over there. Spencer's in fact. <laughs> we'll go we'll look there in a few minutes. I'm just a couple feet away from where I found the Spencer and another really deep target right there. I went ahead and dug it up because it didn't sound like it was a bullet, but it is a shotgun shell base. Center fire, so that means it's post-Civil War. And uh, it was way down in there. Uh, kind of wonder how that got so deep. Of course, this could have been lost in 1880. Who knows? Got another signal right here. It's the same type of signal, something really deep. But I tried digging it, and there's just so many roots. I mean, both those other holes just were loaded with roots. So I'm going to move out of this area just because I don't want to dig in a bunch of roots today. Now, if I get a really strong signal of something that it doesn't sound like a piece of uh, uh, copper, like a shotgun shell or... A Spencer case and I'll dig it but let's go ahead and move on out on out of here we'll cross the ravine and go up on the other side where I was finding at least fired bullets so I like to dig at least a couple bullets today if we can of course I had to dig one more target before I left the area and I'll show you what it is we're down deep but the roots actually weren't too bad down right here I'm about 30 feet below where I was finding the other stuff and it's a modern 22 caliber 22 cartridge that's a long rifle that was a drop when you can see the bullet still in it so oh well not civil war oh well, we have a little bit of a problem right over there on that other side of the ravine is where i was finding the uh or found the the fired spencer cartridge and on this side of the ravine is where the firing range is now unfortunately this is on the shade side <laughs> so it's frozen everything's still frozen here won't be able to dig. It's so one thing I didn't think about is, you know, where the sun hits in the winter time, like the south facing hillsides or lawns for that matter, if you're, you know, in a subdivision, the snow melts first because the sun rays heat it up. But on this side of the hill, uh, stays in the shade a lot more because uh, the sun's not very high in the horizon. 
<coughs> and the ground stays frozen. I'm not going to bother. I've uh, got another spot we can check, though. I have found drop stuff, but, boy, it's been absolutely pounded over the years by people digging. And I just uh, don't have high hopes, but we'll try it. At least it'll be unfrozen. <laughs> I hope. All right, this is getting kind of tough. Uh, the ground still it's frozen over here as well. I can break through it, but it's really freaking muddy because when the ground thaws on top of frozen ground, it just turns to slurry. Now, I do have a decent signal there that's pretty deep. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and dig that, but I'm gonna turn the camera off because I it just I'm just covered with mud. Okay, it's out of the ground. It's right in that clod right there. Um, I want to show you what I'm talking about with the uh, with the muck. You can see this is the top layer right here, and this is frozen. That thing's actually see the ice in it. And when it starts to thaw, this stuff just gets like really, really sloppy. So when this thawed down maybe an inch or two, the whole top will be just like this. And it's just really, really horrible to work with. And you get absolutely covered with mud. And um, yeah, well, you get covered. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking <laughs> too late. It's not really sounding that great anymore. I don't know how much longer I'm going to hang around if I don't hurry up and find something. Oh, yeah, that's a nail. Look. Nope, that wasn't it. Ah, threw it back in the hole. I don't want to set the camera down here, so I'll try to grab it with this. You get it? Ah, it's a little round. Something. I, think my, I thought it was a little round ball, but it might be some melted lead. Yeah, so what we have here, I'll try to get you in the sun. Is a either a it's a round ball, it's a fired musket ball, small one. You can see that's probably where the uh, sprue was cut off of it. So that could be Civil War, but it might be later or it might be earlier. It's really hard to say. We'll try it for a few more minutes, but unless we start finding a bunch of stuff, I think I'm just going to hit the road, Jack. <laughs> so a little tiny squeaker in this clod of ice. Pretty small, so it's probably just a little 22 bullet or casing. I'm not going to put it in my pocket to thaw it out, though. Yeah, it's still in there. Actually, it sounds pretty good. It could be... might be foil. No, it's a uh, probably pistol cartridge. See it right there? Pistol bullets. Got brass or something on it. I can't, God, I can't break it. I wish I could tell for sure if it was... Oh. All right, so I'm looking at that. That looks like a modern, probably a pistol copper it's copper jacket uh, let me smash it out of there just give me a minute all right i just hit it with a shovel then it was modern but yeah it's a fired modern bullet brassy uh casing on the outside jacket and then on the inside's lead or at least a good sounding signal um <laughs> oh well i just dug a neat little pick um it's got some white stuff on it so this might be a trash pit of some sort i don't know if that's civil war era or not though I can't really tell for sure, but yeah, could be a little something down here. Might be a farmer's trash dump. There's some glass in there, and I don't think that's Civil War era, so I don't think it's Civil War related. We're kind of out of that camping area. I was headed back to the truck, but um, we might come back here another day. What do you say? Ah, awesome. Possum. I've got another signal in the same hole a little deeper, and there is a stove leg, so this is either a trash pit or maybe there could be an old home site close by. See that, uh, that kind of white stuff looks like plaster, doesn't it? Wall plaster, so this could be an old home site. We'll spend a couple more minutes here, but I'm about done for the day. <laughs> All right, so we are definitely on what I think is a home site. Uh, you can see some stacked stone here, modern beer bottles. Um, I just saw yeah, some mason jars and stuff. I don't think they're too terribly old, so this might not be a really old one. Now, I only have that big loop with me today, and it is loaded with iron in here. I'm not getting too many good squeakers. I dug that one pick and the stove leg, but my camera did not turn off when I dug the stove leg, so it's been on for like the last 30 minutes, so I don't have much battery left. So I think what I'm gonna do is call it a day, and we'll come back. Sun's getting pretty close to the horizon now anyway. I've been out for about four hours. I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get the smaller loop and come back another day. I don't have high hopes for this spot, but who knows? I think it's been dug before because there's not very many good signals. Well, there sure is a lot of iron. Oh, there's a bottle I saw. Looks like a mason jar or something, is it? Yeah, see, it's more metal. 
Good food for good people. That's actually not their tagline. That's probably pig's feet. Pickle pig's feet. They're famous for that. Boy, I haven't had them in a long time. And I do love them. Pickle pig's feet. All right. We'll see you on the next one. There has ivy up in the trees. That's uh, usually a good sign that there was a home nearby or a dump. In this case, it was a home. We'll see you on the next one. We've got one silver war find today. Awesome. Possum. You'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand.